Hello beautiful person watching, welcome to my channel. Today we are making some air fryer pompano fish. Now if you love cooking whole fish, I would recommend you try this. It is so easy to work with and comes out really juicy and tasty. Let's jump right into the recipe. But before we do, if you're new to my channel, hi, welcome, my name is Bena. Thank you so much for watching and please do consider taking a moment to hit that red subscribe button. Also like and share this video and turn on your notification bell because I do upload healthy, delicious air fryer recipes every week. Thank you so much. So I have two beautiful pompano fish right here. I'm just going to go ahead and start cleaning them up. I do clean my fish properly. And I use my kitchen scissors to just trim off all the fins. I also use a knife to cut open the belly and remove all the stuff, all the excesses that's inside. As well, I remove the gills. This is how I clean my fish and I love to really make sure that I clean it properly before cooking. Let me know in the comment section how you like to clean your fish. Once this is properly cleaned up, I'm going to proceed to just use a knife and make three incisions on both sides of the fish and once that's done i'll go ahead with some fresh lemon juice to just squeeze it both inside and out into the slits as well now the lemon juice is going to help reduce the fishy smell and it's also going to give our fish that fresh smell citrus smell <laughs> These are the ingredients we're going to need to marinate our fish with it. So I have here some rosemary and thyme. I just went ahead and just removed the leaves from the stem, separated them. I have some garlic and a ginger right here. I have some cilantro and parsley. Some cilantro and parsley. I have here some onion and some scallions, just the leaves spring onions or scallions and I also have here some green bell pepper so this is going to be a green seasoning so we are going to go ahead and just boil I have my saucepan right here I'm going to put everything in there we are going to go ahead and boil this before we blend so the reason again why we are boiling it is so that it just helps to make your fish tastier trust me if you want to try this if you use the cooked versus the raw spices and herbs, it's going to make your fish tastier. I just went ahead and I put some water in there. And once this is all ready, then we'll go ahead and blend. So this has cooked for about 8 minutes. I'm just going to let it, um, I'm just going to let it cool down a little bit and then we'll proceed to blend them all. So this has cooled down properly. I have it in my blender. I'm just going to go ahead and just blend it. Already, I'm just going to go ahead and just transfer it in this bowl. I'll go ahead and do some chicken bouillon seasoning. I'll do some salt as well. Make sure you do your salt to taste. And then I'll put in some extra virgin olive oil. Mix it all up to combine. Mix this all up to combine properly. This is how it's looking. And next we'll proceed with our fish. The good thing with this seasoning is that you can always make 
enough or more you can make more and freeze it it freeze really well and when you need it you just take it out for your proteins it's so good we have our fish right here and i'm just going to go ahead and marinate it properly you want to start again with in the head make sure that you pour in some of the seasoning in the belly as well so incisions make sure that it goes right in there and as we cook it we are also going to add the seasoning I'll just go ahead and place it in my air fryer. So fish right here. I'm just going to go ahead and just put it in the air fryer. I'm going to select the fish. It says 350 for eight minutes. I'm going to do this, adjust this to 10 minutes. 350 for 10 minutes and we'll see how it looks like halfway so our fish has been cooking on 350 for 10 minutes right now i'm going to go ahead and just flip it over and once that's done i have some leftover marinade or seasoning my green seasoning to the side i'll just use my brush and just brush it up because you don't want your fish cooking and drying out you want it to remain moist and juicy so i'll just rub this up properly and i also have some vegetables to the side i'm just going to go ahead and also add that in and uh, we'll pop it back into the air fryer and for for eight minutes on 350 and we'll see how that looks like And that fish is all ready. It smells so good in my kitchen right now. And I hope you really get to try this recipe soon. You're going to love it. Your family will love it. Thank you so much for watching. And please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also share it with your family and friends. And please subscribe to my channel if you already haven't done so. And thank you so much for everyone that has subscribed already. Thank you for your support. Until I come your way next time with something healthy, delicious please continue to drink lots of water be well thank you bye